Welcome back to Let's Play Magician. When we last left off, Paul got totally served on the dance floor. Well, okay, that didn't happen, but we got the bug. So let's take a look at the status screen. We've got <clears throat> a whole bunch of items. As you can see, I'm running low on food and health because I spent some time trying to up my shields. We've got mana, potions, potions. The Vial of Earth, very important towards the end of the game. And everything else is just esoteric little weird stuff. Ven shield ups your Ven shield by 4%. Shields are permanent until they get reduced. So if you have all your shields at 100%, you don't take very much damage. Mana's looking okay, and we've got a bunch of spells. But right now, I believe we're going to go with fly number two. Because this is a bog, and I do not want to fall in. Whoa! Flames. And me without a fire shield. That's just great. And then there's this guy. He's gonna fire venom at us. But we've got Ven shield up, so we should be okay. What do we do about the guys who fire at us? We use lightning, and we annihilate them. Alright, we have to act fast. Chests disappear after a while. So we're going to need the key, but we're also going to need the Featherlight spell, because this is still a bog. So we're going to cast this, use that key, open it up. The Power Rune automatically combines with the Walking Stick to make the Staff of Power. It's like a free Lightning Moon spell. And Mana Potions. So let's get out of here before it's too late. Huh, what do you know? Time passes when you're uh, looking at a chest, so let's just try that again. What do you say? <laughs> I sank into the bog, that's what I say. I do say. That was very unsporting of the game. Wow, what a kick in the pants. I'm gonna get my key out ahead of time. Alright, so this punk dies. Featherlight 4, take that, get that, get that, and get the heck out of here. <laughs> Very funny game. Very funny. Time passes when you're looking at a treasure chest. Alright, so we've got this guy. He's gonna tell me something. I have a thousand mana. Good. Hey, I wanna talk to you, man. Okay. Pohanes to keep up your spirits. And some gold hidden in the bushes. Ah, uh, what is Pohanes? Po ha -ha -sta. The spell. Okay, um, it's actually a pretty bad spell. You know what we're gonna do? We're not gonna pay this ferryman. We're gonna fly over. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna pay the ferryman. Yeah. There's a bug that you can do that you can somehow, if you're really lucky, jump back over the other side, pay the ferryman again, but that's cheating and we're not gonna do it. Instead, we're gonna abuse save states. Alright, let's equip that staff of power and see how it does against this next encounter. Um, no, I wanna use Axor 4, just in case anything goes wrong. Axor 4 should do the trick. Oh man, you're not dead. Get what you pay for, folks. And when you pay in mana, you get results. Nothing on that body. There should be another one. You old punk! I really wish I had power shield up. Or fizz shield. And we got some food. Alright, that's great. Let's take a look at us. Our health is running kind of low, but, you know, this sort of thing happens. So, let's, uh, go into the food shop. I'm gonna need that water. Yeah. Full water, ten cents. No, ten gold. Full food. Not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna spend a lot of time here because this is one of the last places in the game where you can just refill your food and your water for next to nothing. 
considering the fact that shops stop appearing soon enough and gold becomes useless, I guess I'll spend what I have now. Let's take a look at this house right here. Okay, we've got stuff. I'm not gonna buy any of these potions. I'll find enough. Well, I might as well. I guess I'll save some money. Spell, Psychic, both useless. Fire Shield, we are gonna need. And Meditate, we are gonna need. So because I'm gonna need them, I'm gonna just go ahead and give them to myself. I mean, you don't have enough money to buy all the spells that you're gonna need in this game. That's just the sort of game this is. And I'm not putting up with that. I need my fire shield. Actually, you don't need fire shield for this part, but you will need it in the next area. What you need for this area is the power shield. And you don't get that till the end of the next area. And without it, you basically get the crud kicked out of you. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Meditate is good for passing time to regenerate mana really fast. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Door bolted shut from the inside. What about you? Are you a door bolted shut? Please give me your gold. I know you've got gold for me. Come back here. You're done with this macho warrior stuff. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Keep it up. Alright. Ancient warlock imprisoned by Abaddon in his dungeons. I wonder if we'll run into this warlock. What is Mira Hufina? Let's find out. Mira Hu Fi Nah. Alright. Jump. Jump spell. That's awesome. What are we gonna do with the jump spell anyway? There's no pits in this game. Alright, pits, a stone causeway. Whoa. I'm not actually gonna get past this part. I just wanted to demonstrate how quickly you'll get messed up by the ghosts if you don't have your cow shield set. Yep. I feel faint because I'm taking huge amounts of damage. Oh yeah. You got melted. So here's my current plan. I go back to the shop that's got food. I sit in front of it meditating, work up all four shields, including pow shield, to maximum effect, and then I make the jump. For those of you curious, the pow shield spell is po ra na stu ra. Pronastra. Power shield. Pow, pow, power shield. Alright. We have the staff of power. And we're gonna kick Abaddon's butt. But for right now, I'm gonna sit in front of here and meditate like crazy. See, check out this cool meditation I can do. Wow, man, I float. My mind is clear and serene. Oh, man, I am Floating and regaining mana. Alright, so as you can see, our food stocks are down, but our mana stocks are up. Next time on Let's Play Magician, Paul makes some unfortunate jumps over the causeway. And we move on to the forest, the last bastion of civilization. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. See you guys later.